Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So here we are at the equivalent fractions mastery check where you are going to try some of these on your own to see if you have equivalent fractions down. If you're looking for more of an instructional video, I dropped the link down in the description to that. And then after you check that out, you can come back to the mastery check. If you're not familiar with how mastery checks work on my channel, you're going to be solving these six on your own, and then you're checking your work with mine to see how you do. So you should have something out to write on and something to write with. And I'm going to say press pause here in a few seconds. You'll press pause, do these six problems. When you're ready, press play and check your work with mine. So numbers one, two, three, and four, this is just like the instructional video. You need to write two equivalent fractions to each of those. And then for number five and six, you pick out the fraction that does not fit with the rest. So for example, number five, there are four fractions there. Three of them will be equivalent, and then one of those fractions will be the odd guy out. You need to find the one that doesn't fit. All right, so if you're ready to roll here, go ahead and press pause. All right, welcome back. I'm assuming you have those six done. Your goal is to have five correct out of the six or six out of six. So let's hop into number one here, one third. And there are literally an infinite amount of equivalent fractions for one third, as long as you do the same thing to both the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator, you get an equivalent fraction. And you can only use multiplication and division. It does not work with addition and subtraction. So I can't go through all the answers because that would be impossible. So I'll give you a few examples and you can mark it correct if you follow that rule, multiplying the top and bottom or dividing by the same number. So you may have multiplied both of them by eight and gotten uh, eight twenty-fourths. That would be an equivalent fraction to one third or maybe you multiplied them both by 12 and got 12 over 36. Both are equivalent to one third. You cannot use division for number one because you can't divide one and three by the same number. There's, there's not a common factor there. Number two, three, and seven. I'm going to multiply them both by 10 and get 30 over 70. And let's do multiply them both by five to get 15 over 35. All right, number three, we have 10 over 22. This one we can use division. And just to back up, number two, you cannot use division on that because three and seven do not have a common factor. There's nothing that you can divide both of those numbers by. 10 and 12 do have a common factor. They're both even, so you can automatically use two. Divide them both by two and I get five elevenths or Let's multiply them both by 3 and get 30 over 66. That's not a 60, that's a 66. So 22 times 3 equals 66. And then number 4, both of those are even, so I know I can divide by 2 and get 3 eighths or Let's multiply them both by four, how about? And we will get uh, 24 over 64. So that's numbers one through four. Again, if you follow that rule, do the same thing to both the top and the bottom, either multiply or divide, you get an equivalent fraction. So I'll let you be the judge of numbers one through four. Number five and six only have one correct answer though. And for number five, number one, our fraction one fourth is the uh, fraction we want to go off of here and find the other ones that are equal to one fourth. If you multiply both one and four by five, you'll get five twentieths, so that's equivalent. And if you multiply both one and four by two, you'll get two eighths. So those are all equivalent. You should have chosen 
three eighths is the one that does not fit. However you express that on your paper um, would be fine as long as you were able to find that three eighths was the one that didn't fit. Number six, uh, four fifths is the fraction we're gonna wanna go off of. If I multiply both the top and the bottom by four, I get 16 twentieths. And if I multiply both four and five, the top and the bottom by two, I will get eight tenths. Or maybe you started with eight, te eight tenths and multiplied both of them by two and got 16 twentieths and divided them both by two and got four fifths. There are multiple ways to do, to do number five and six. So if you didn't come to the correct answer just like I did, that's fine, as long as you got to the correct answer. One fifth is the fraction that does not fit there, the odd man out. All right, so that is the mastery check for equivalent fractions. Again, your goal was five or six correct out of those six. Hopefully you did well, and that was helpful with equivalent fractions. Thanks for watching.